Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are in this world, whatever you're watching this video. Welcome to the Bitcoin family channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi. Uh, uh, today, another cool video here in Lagos, Portugal. Uh, I already recorded the intro before, but I probably had it on something cinematic or something. So the, it was very slow, a slow motion. So, so I need to do it again. Uh, in today's video, again, uh, amazing Bitcoin charts, some really cool news, a trading tip, a travel tip. Uh, probably some other stuff that I'm going to share with you. Oh yeah, I need to answer a question of one of the guys that asked a question down below. Latest video on Friday. So yes, always ask your questions after the video because I will answer them in my next upcoming video. It's completely, completely foggy guys. You, can even, you can't even see anything. It's like the only thing you see is an empty beach, completely empty. You can't even see the village anymore. As you can see, there's nothing to see. Only some footsteps beautifully over there guys um, so today's video will be really nice uh, watch it completely till the end guys uh, because you need to see all the information let's quickly jump into the first part Bam. the first part is the news today guys I have huge news uh, which is not gonna influence the price or gonna change the price but still it's really cool news for me I think um, this week I will be attending a beautiful blockchain event in Singapore token 2049 together with my daughter Jolie it will be the first time ever I travel with one single daughter uh, all the way abroad to, for example now Singapore we will go there for a week we will meet a lot of people we will do a lot of stuff of course we'll probably watch uh, Max Verstappen again win uh, the Formula One Grand Prix because yeah he's racing Red Bull and yeah Red Bull is sponsored by Bybit and it, yeah if you want to use Bybit use the link down below uh, because then you can uh, help me to come through the beautiful trip of Singapore with some little bit of referral fees I earned over there <laughs> now nah, don't really need that but yeah guys it's gonna be an awesome week uh, packed with a lot of things but also meeting a lot of people again probably hanging out again with uh, Chris and MM crypto maybe Carl the moon will be there Da Vinci will be there even Luther will be there coach K will be there so that will be some parties probably <laughs> and there will be some breakfast lunch dinners and a lot of activities probably meeting the apex pro team the team that I always talk about the decentralized exchange probably meeting the Bible team again so let's see what happens when I hear uh, Last time I went to one of these events was in Monaco last year or one and a half year ago and that was an awesome event. Uh, so yeah, I just love to meet all the influencers again and you know talk about Bitcoin blockchain alive with same minded people uh, that also have the same emotions in this industry guys. So really cool news. That was the news for today. Hope you liked it. Uh, yeah, and a lot of content will be created. I will try to keep the standard format and do all the travel content on Instagram, for example, or X. Uh, let's see how that works out. You know, I, I'm not structured on planet at all, so we need to see how it works out. Now, let's quickly jump now in the second part into the charts. Bam! This is the first chart for today, guys. This chart is made by Capriol uh, Investments, uh, as you can see on the top. A beautiful chart, and its blue line is the Bitcoin price. Then we have the red line, which is normally the bottom price. And we have the green line, uh, which could be a beautiful price that indicates, okay, now we will go into this blow off top. Uh, the green line is the Bitcoin energy value, as you can see. And the red line is the Bitcoin electrical cost. And that electrical cost in the past has always been the bottom of the Bitcoin price. Just look to the left all the way to 2019. You can see that if Bitcoin falls down, even with the COVID crash, it crashes to that electrical price. And then when we take a distance from that, we are going to green to that green line and try to break that. And when we break that, that will be the last part of the bull run, guys. Now, the thing that you now need to understand in investing is the risk and reward ratio. And if you now look to this chart, what do you think that the risk reward ratio is look how beautifully it is over there that red part is the downside you can have of this trade by buying bitcoin now the downside can be very small that small red area over there in that beautiful square and that green part can be your uptake that can be your profits so the risk reward at the moment is really strong you should be buying bitcoin yes it could fall it doesn't mean that it will fall and if it falls it will fall only a little bit and then you can buy a little bit extra at that uh, level again but the most beautiful part is that green part 
that upward potential that is over there to take profit for you guys. That is what you need to understand about Bitcoin trading, the risk reward ratio. And it's beautiful presented to you by Capriolo in this chart, guys. Next chart. The second chart, guys, is the Bitcoin shrimp net position change. This is the entities uh, smaller than one Bitcoin, which means everyone that holds less than a Bitcoin uh, falls into this category. And the beautiful thing in this chart now is that you can see, yes, finally, my educational videos has worked. <laughs> Not that everybody watches them, there's only 60K people at the moment. Should be millions of people, if you ask me. I think my videos are really good. Uh, so we should share the video way more with other people so that I get a little bit more followers and they understand this even as well. And uh, yeah, now I will get back to the chart. That was all my ego stuff talking. Uh, but <clears throat> why are you being educated? Because you can see in the 2017 bull market, you see the price is that black line you see the monthly mine supply is that blue line you can see that there is less bitcoin mines uh, after the halving and we will go in that supply shock very soon again but the thing that you see here is that orange part on the bottom that is all those people buying the bull market top uh, around 20k in 2017 18. all the retail all the shrimps were buying bitcoin at that moment that was the wrong timing they FOMO'd in at a too high price. If you go fast forward to now, they didn't buy the top anymore. Do you see this? <clears throat> that double top last time of 70K, there was almost no shrimps buying. Do you see when the shrimps were buying? They were buying at the bear market bottom. They were buying when FTX collapsed, when 3ASA collapsed. They were buying the bear market bottom. That is when we saw huge orange peaks. So yes, the shrimps have been educated, the small coiners with less than one Bitcoin, they have been educated and understood when to buy the Bitcoin bottom. And that's what they did. They bought it around 16,000 US dollar. And that is what you see on this beautiful chart. Next chart, guys. This is another chart that is a chart that I also do always in my videos. It's a daily chart, guys. And I told you already a week or two ago, be aware that there might be a dead cross. And you might ask now, why are you always sharing people's other charts? No, I also share my own charts, but I want to give other people's opinion as well, so you can really do your own research. I am not the only trader out here. I want to support other people that make beautiful charts, and uh, yeah, they should do the same to me, but they never do. Uh, <laughs> and um, you know, th this is just giving another pe person's opinion that almost has the same opinion as me uh, on what can happen to the price. Now. If you look into this chart, the day chart, you can see that this blue and that yellow line, they are going to cross. And that could be a death cross on the day chart. And a death cross is never positive, that mostly is a crash. But to be very honest, a death cross is always lagging behind. So maybe that huge crash that we already saw now from 31k to yeah, 24k, maybe that already was the crash and the dead cross is lagging behind. If you look to the left, you can see the last bullish cross. Uh, that also was lagging behind. We already had the pump before the cross happened. So that's very important to understand. It's not always that these dead and uh, crosses uh, and golden crosses are predicting the future. Sometimes it's also a representation of what already happened. And if we would crash more, then we could crash into that beautiful pattern that you see over there. And that would be bottoming around that 22K, 23K level that we have talked about more times. But guys, if we break out of the pattern, always ex also expect a huge pump to the upside. Beautiful chart by whoever created it. I found it on Twitter, so uh, if you want to pause the video and check all the text that he wrote on it, be my guest and have fun with it. Now that was the last chart, let's quickly jump into the next part. Bam! I hope you really enjoyed the charts, guys. The charts, uh, yeah, I, I really like these zoom out charts because I don't want to freak out about this uh, mini chart stuff and all that stuff. If you do want to do it, uh, there will be a link available probably from tomorrow down below the videos where we can join a telegram group a vip telegram group for the bitcoin family where bitcoin trading signals will be given so that it will tell you when to buy which price to buy where to put your stop loss and where to pay, pay, take profit and then it will guide you through the whole set so i'm like okay increase your stop loss etc so you by doing it, you learn how it works and how to think as a trader. And maybe that will help you to become a better trader, guys. But always remember to zoom out in Bitcoin. 
look at the bigger picture these charts and zoom in that life and enjoy every single minute of the day and that brings me now to the trading tip bam always stay patient guys I know how it feels if you're stuck in a trade I know how it feels but you planned that trade and if you plan certain trades the plan must work out don't ruin your plan stay patient crypto is very volatile and can do a lot of crazy stuff so stay patient don't over trade don't make stupid decisions because you are impatient you need to be patient when it comes to trading the market will come to you if you have a plan if you have a stop loss if you have a take profit stay patient the market will go to that plan if you estimated the plan in the right way and if not it will hurt your stop loss and sometimes you will lose and sometimes you will win but stay patient Bam. and as we are going to travel uh, this week guys yes another beautiful travel tip the next travel tip is very important if you travel with a family for example or also if you travel alone but always have your emergency plan ready if you travel to Singapore make sure where the, uh, that you know where the embassy is make sure that you know the local safety number like 112 or 911 or whatever the number might be but make sure you know the number make sure you know where the hospital is where the doctor is just it will take you five minutes in the beginning of your trip when you arrive at your hotel room just to like up, make notations of this very quickly into your phone i know searching is a very simple thing to do nowadays but believe me when you're in stress some strange situations might occur and maybe you might you know forget completely what you should be doing so then if you have a note with all these numbers it works always perfect i think it's very important especially when you travel with children that you know where all of these uh, hospitals and all the stuff is that if you need to act you can act directly so always have an emergency plan bam Now the advice for today guys, I'm talking about live advice, important live advice is uh, live in the now. And I know, yes, you think now, ah, yeah, again that one, yeah, again that one. But that's very important. Don't worry about the past. You can't change that past anymore. Don't worry about the future. You made a plan, the future will play out, but you can't uh, influence the future anymore. The only thing you can do is enjoy this right moment. I'm enjoying this moment to the fullest, walking on the beach, doing my beach walk and talk, educating you guys out there. And when that is finished, I will start to enjoy the next moment. I'm now not thinking about what I'm going to do after this or could I have done something different yesterday because it doesn't matter. Live now and this moment, enjoy that moment to the fullest and that's very important when you travel the world. You can't be stuck with your head in the clouds over here while you explore these beautiful new areas for example now Singapore I'm not gonna be in the cloud I'm gonna be here and enjoying the taste the smell the food everything out there in Singapore on that moment very important stay focused on the moments that your experiences and enjoy them to the fullest guys BAM still no sunrise guys still no sunrise I'm gonna turn around and walk that way again back uh, to where my ride is as the last part of the video is of course answering the questions of one of you guys uh, the question was at the end Didi, if you want to cash out your bitcoins at the bull market top and you can't buy a house directly with your bitcoins for example huh? I know you can and I know I could and I know I probably will use uh, real estate to cash out or maybe gold because if you use the link down below you can buy gold with Bitcoin but um, let's say you want to cash out a few hundred K and normally you can't cash out to the banks because then they fuck you up with all the tax you need to pay and then the government comes and they say yeah but you made so much profit and you need to pay some more tax blah 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 if you don't want to cash out to the banks you could cash out to real estate in for example Thailand or Mexico or any other country where you can directly pay with Bitcoin and they are not gonna ask you like uh, where did you get these Bitcoins yeah, that's only like in, in Europe like, where they want to know completely where your Bitcoins came from and everything most other countries don't give a fuck you just pay with Bitcoin and it's done there is always other cashing out possibilities one is a cashing out possibility I talked about with a very good friend yesterday uh, yeah and, and and it could be a really nice one but but also to be honest I can't share it yet because probably I'm gonna build 
a beautiful project around that one uh, because it's very surprising and I didn't know it was possible but it is possible so that would be another caching out option but to still give an answer to your question guys and um, if I would need to cash out and I can't go into real estate for example I will always cash out into stable coins you know it will be just USDT USDC it will be DAI any other stable coin that is a good one guys so for me cashing out means exchanging Bitcoin to stable coins probably you mean to cash out to the physical world eh, that's very difficult nowadays because the on and off ramps are being closed down so I don't believe you can't buy houses or anything else in countries like Thailand or for example Mexico I think it's all possible and um, so if I would need to cash out to something else it could always be to a car or to other products uh, you know that you sell again in the bear market bottom and then you buy back your bitcoins uh, but probably then if I would be forced I would cash out to gold and that gold would be in a safe in Singapore because there's a company that you can buy gold or silver with bitcoins and it's zero percent tax in Singapore as long as it's in the safe over there so check that link down below yeah you could be buying gold with Bitcoin if you want to cash out to the physical world instead of beautiful um, stable coins in the crypto world so for me I don't think there will be an issue uh, and the issue if that would be there yeah I will solve it probably with gold or any other creative solution at that moment so that's the answer on that question guys i uh, hope you really enjoyed the complete video if you did enjoy the video then please give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and family subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and leave a comment what do you think about all the charts what do you think about all the information what do you think about the cash out possibilities do you have other cashing out possibilities let me know down below otc is always a good cashing out solution and there are many countries that support otc over the counter trader you and me meeting at bam bam beach and exchanging cash for bitcoins or bitcoins for cash that was everything hope you enjoyed it and see you tomorrow again bam and if you ask who made these beautiful drone images this drone this drone <laughs> and the guy miguel who woke up also at 6 30 to film me on the beach and we expected the beautiful beautiful sunrise which never came <laughs> no sunrise guys cool drone isn't it look we are filming each other now <laughs> hey Ike and you answer my question is Bitcoin going up or down <laughs> it's gonna crash yeah no it's going to go up <laughs> I love it